Let's compare early decision one to early decision two at Rice University the first year that both of these admissions plans have been offered. That is the topic of today's video. My name is Craig Meister. I'm a college admissions coach. You can learn more about me and how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire college admissions process on my website, which is collegemeister.com. And if you're interested in learning about whether or not you are or your student is on track for selective college admission in the United States of America, visit areyouontracktogetin.com. Again, that's areyouontracktogetin.com, at which you will complete a free three-minute assessment. Your results will be emailed to you right away, and they will help you clarify whether or not you are or your student is on track for selective college admission in the United States of America. The headline in the Rice Thresher, the student newspaper reads, Rice accepts 13% of record-setting ED applications. Let's dig into it a little bit. Rice accepted 13.2% of early decision applicants in the first round of admissions for the class of 2029, said Yvonne Romero, Vice President for Enrollment, with 2,970 total applicants. This year saw yet another record high, a 3% increase from last year's previous high of 2886. An additional 100 students gained admission through the QuestBridge National College Match Program, an uptick from last year's 77. While applications are on the rise, acceptance rates continue to decrease. The past two ED cycles saw 15.3% and 15.2% admissions rates. Before this year, there was no need to differentiate between ED1 and ED2 at Rice because Rice only offered one early decision round, but this year was the first year that Rice began offering early decision two in addition to early decision one. Let's dive into what early decision two looks like in its debut at Rice University. 6% of students admitted in first ever ED2 round. Rice's inaugural round of early decision two saw a single digit acceptance rate, admitting only 6% of the 2,513 applicants on February 7, 2025, said Yvonne Romero, a total of 36,749 people applied to Rice this admission cycle, including applicants across the ED1, ED2, regular decision, and QuestBridge National College Match programs. This year's applicant pool is 13% larger than last year's 32,000. Quote, we are delighted by the continued interest in rice from applicants around the world, Romero wrote in an email to the Thresher. The class of 2029 has already welcomed 491 students from the ED1 and QuestBridge cycles, the former of which saw a 13.2 acceptance rate. Again, repeating what I was sharing earlier. The class of 2028 accepted 7.5% of the 32,459 applicants in its regular decision round last year, marking the third year of record low acceptance rates. As applicant pools continue to grow, Rice's acceptance rates have steadily declined over the years, first dipping into the single digits in 2019. This year's admissions cycle caps off the end of a five-year plan announced in 2021 to expand Rice's undergraduate population by 20% to 4,800. As of fall 2024, undergraduate enrollment was 4,776, and a 12th new residential college will soon join campus. So the big takeaway is that similar numbers of students are applying ED1 and ED2 at Rice. Again, we just read that 2,970 students applied ED1 to Rice in fall 2024, and 13.2% of them were accepted. But for ED2, the numbers are quite a bit more pathetic, if you're looking at it from the perspective of the student, at least, uh, where 2,513 individuals applied ED2, but only 6% 
of them were accepted. So we have a situation here where after one year of ED1 and ED2 at Rice both being offered shows us that they're very different cycles. And the advantage definitely goes to the students who are applying ED1. At some institutions, ED1 and ED2 have very similar acceptance rate. At some institutions, there are even some benefits of applying ED2, but not so far at Rice. ED1, basically, you give yourself double the chance statistically of getting into Rice than you do if you apply ED2. If one year is any indication how year two will go. As we wrap things up, I want to remind you that you don't have to settle for the free videos alone. As you navigate the college admissions process, get the focused and personalized coaching and expertise you need to achieve your goals. My smart sessions meet you where you are in order to take you where you want to go. Meanwhile, if you want proactive support throughout the college application process and want to collaborate with a dedicated expert to submit applications that are simply meticulous, reserve your preferred simply meticulous experience as soon as possible. Space is limited due to the time and attention to detail required to pull off these extraordinary coaching experiences. No matter your distinctive objectives, you can achieve them. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, visit my website, which is collegemeister.com. And when you finish your common app and want to know if it's as strong as possible and whether or not in its current condition your chances of admission are impressive, inconclusive, or inadequate, you need my pre-read. Getting my pre-read now means having me review your entire application just like an admissions officer or admissions committee will review it later, and receiving by email no later than the time you reserve a comprehensive report highlighting what's working and what's not on your full Common App and one Common App supplement. If you've yet to submit your Common App, my pre-read may motivate you to make adjustments to it before your deadline. If you've already submitted your Common App, my pre-read will prepare you for what I deem to be your likely admissions outcome at the institution in question. To purchase my pre-read now, go to mypreread.com. Again, that's mypreread.com. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. As mentioned previously, if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the college admissions process, visit my website, which is collegemeister.com. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and most importantly, stay stress-free throughout the entire college admissions process.